good brand, not, not expensive, not cheap. It's, uh, it's, they're good for, for um, what I use them for. And uh, when, you, when you do have to use, um, um, have, have to get quality in, a lot of times it's the, the boots, because the boots are extremely important uh, for, for skiing, because it, it can be, um, it can be dangerous and it can be expensive if you don't get the right boots, because they can be pretty expensive and you have to get the right fit. Um, so, uh, the way um, uh, archaeologists have actually, have actually dated these skis to be about, I mean, not these skis, but skiing in general, as um, about four or 5,000 years ago. And it was used mostly for, ne for necessity. Uh, tribes used to um, uh, use them for um, getting around for like many miles of traveling that they had that they had to go through, and they had to go through um, uh, some really harsh conditions. So, and then I, I was I also found out that you know if uh, an average while you're while you're walking in knee high uh, snow, just taking one step is, is like taking 80 average steps. So if you're taking you know maybe 80 steps in the snow, you're, you're taking you know almost like uh, like two, 280 steps. Um, uh, like walking, so it's got to be. You know, people couldn't do that. They couldn't just go on and and you know and, and get to to the neighbor's house. It was it was maybe a uh, you know a uh, uh, hundred yards away. It would take too much energy. So they developed wooden ones, wooden planks that were pretty um, pre pretty fragile, but they they were used um, uh, for getting around and for hunting too, for for, for shooting animals and, and 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 you know skiing and picking them, picking them up. Uh, it was, um, it's a, it, but as the, as the time has, has gone, uh, skis have been, have been developed in different styles and, in, uh, and people have come up with different techniques. And 1924 was actually the first year in the, where, where it was allowed in the Winter Olympics in France. So uh, since, since 1924, it's been a, it's been a, a big, uh, big sport. And also what's developed is the clothes. I didn't bring the clothes. Um, but it, uh, the, the clothes have, have become very um, very advanced too, water resistant and um, and wind resistant, and it, it, it's become a, a, a very big winter sport around every uh, all, all continents. And the way I identify myself with it is because uh, I've been doing it since uh, since I was 12. Uh, my, my family took me once. Uh, we had a, we took a class, and it was a it was a very exciting it was a very exciting uh, experience for me. So after that, I, I kept doing it, and I've been doing it for so many years. Um, for maybe 14 years, I've been I've been skiing, and it's it's something that I, I I've met people, I've met friends. We go together. It's just it's something very interesting. Even uh, even people that snowboard, we, we go together. It's a it's a fun experience. Uh, and uh, so and, uh, you can it also helps you stay in shape. And in um, con for conclusion, uh, the you know it's a uh, it's a it's a great it's a great sport. Um, you, I, I told you a little bit about the history, a little bit why I, I identify myself so much with it, and um, and it, uh, I, for, for many of you that haven't tried it, I think since winter is coming along, it's a great idea to uh, to, to go ahead and and, uh, and and give it a try. So thank you.